In today's Madden 21 tip video, I'm going to be showing you how to beat the cover four drop defense, which is a very popular run defense um, for people to use in Madden 21. And this is going to be done from a under center single back formation that you can actually run the ball out of pretty effectively as well uh, within the New England Patriots playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses on Madden 21 tips and tricks. And we do four tips every single day. These give you uh, food for thought, something to chew on, something to think about, maybe a route combination, which is what we're going to show you in just a moment, maybe a formation that you might not have thought about running, but you might actually be interested in after this. Um, just different ways to uh, think about the game and play the game and show you effective um, routes and combinations of those routes um, so that you can be more effective in Madden 21. So if that's something that interests you and you want to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And also, if you haven't joined my text message membership, I would highly encourage you to do that. It's completely free to do that. All you have to do is pull out your cell phone, text me. My number is 812 216-3644 and let me know you'd like to receive those text message membership videos we have videos going over uh, and most of those videos are a little bit longer uh, we've done videos that go over the gun bunch uh, we've got about an hour uh, scheme guide on the gun bunch we've got a two hour breakdown on the big nickel over g defense and then we've also got some really good stuff from the gun cluster and some really good stuff from the vikings playbook so if you're interested in those free tips just text me and I can shoot you the playlist that has all those together. But enough of that, and let's jump in here. This comes to us from the single back wing formation. It's kind of a unique little route um, that I really like. It's the drive play from single back wing. Now, um, obviously, you have uh, the HB toss crack that you can run. You have the 26 duo, which I think that's one of the better runs in Madden 21. And then you have the stretch, uh, stretch alert smoke. All of those are RPOs, in my opinion, that actually makes them much, much, much better. So, so we're going to go with the drive play as our passing audible. And then you can obviously come out in anything else that you might want to, like the PA cross, the PA post, or any of those other plays. But we're going to focus today in on the drive. And this is going to be very, very good against cover four drops specifically. And we're just going to come out in a nickel 335. And we're going to come out in that cover four uh, drop defense. Now, what I like to do with this route combination is fairly simple. I like to always smart route Cameron Brait's route, the R1 route. And the reason I like to do that is because, as you can see right here, um, we can smart route it. And now it's going to turn into basically an inverted in route, as you can see right here. The next thing that I like to do is I like to take Rob Gronkowski and put him on either, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, pretty much anything will work. Um, the route that I have gotten the most success out of is just a simple drag route or just simply delay fading him. Um, but either of those routes will work, and then you're pretty much set up. I mean, and you're going to use your tight end or your, your tight ends here are your quick reads. Um, if you can hit Gronk, hit Gronk on that drag, what you'll find is if they, maybe you guess wrong and they happen to be in man to man coverage, what you'll see is this route to Cameron Brait is going to basically wrap around against that man-to-man -man coverage very very nicely but if they're in cover four on this specific play um, basically this is going to do a good job of getting over those inside quarter zones uh, that people like that you will need a little bit of time in the pocket um, and so that's why you want to get good at these quick reads to be able to have those check downs but also we all know that practice mode for whatever reason they they rush in a little bit faster so um we're just going to block, call off the dogs a little bit just to show you the route combination. Basically, that post, once he gets even with that left side safety, he's going to get over the top, and you're going to be able to torch the cover four for a one-play touchdown. Now, you could use this when you're facing a defense like 3-4-odd, for example. Maybe they're running a 3-4-odd style of defense on you that is giving you a little bit of trouble uh, as far as running the ball, but but you can, you can you know, e easily hit this post route. Uh, really well. And it's also a multi-window route. If you want to hit it early, you can hit it early. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. So like, for example, you know, if I snap the ball and he comes open right here, I can low ball that. And as you can see, it's going to get underneath those deep blue zones. So that's an option. But the home run hitting uh, power of this play really comes from having a little bit of time in the pocket. That's why sometimes I'll just block the tight end and block the running back and basically just do a three-man route concept here just to make sure I have time in the pocket. And what you'll see on this 
hit him right as if he's even, he's leaving, and Chris Godwin with the hard left pass lead um, is going to be able to get over that cover four drop. So this is a little concept. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called Finn, but uh, it might be a Mills concept. But uh, but basically these, you know, essentially if you're seeing a lot of cover four, just utilize this in route uh, combination right here. And as you can see, you're going to be cooking the cover four over the top for a one play touchdown. This post run on the right side, in my opinion, um, is one of the most slept on routes this year in Madden 21. Um, it's a deep S route. And you can also, what's really unique about it being a single back formation is you, if you wanted to, you can motion Godwin to the left. And what you'll see here is now he's going to run that as a basically a corner route. So you can low ball that against a cover four, as you can see, and hit that, uh, hit that over the top of a lot of the popular uh, zone drops that people will employ from this specific coverage. So, you know, they may be in cover four drop, or if you catch them in man coverage, you'll see this thing does a pretty good job uh, at getting that outside leverage as long as he has a little bit better route running than he does. But um, that's a similar route to the PA dig fork in the gun bunch guide uh, that we released. So anyways, guys, if you want the gun bunch guide, shoot me a text. I'll shoot that to you. Um, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, I'd highly encourage you to do that as well. Uh, that link is in the description. And if you are interested in the New England guide, just let me know. Uh, I can shoot that to you as soon as it comes out. Um, and then last but not least, guys, um, make sure to come by the stream tonight. We'll be streaming tonight in a couple hours. We'll be live at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel playing Madden 21. We'll play with our subscribers, and we'll talk some of the MCS latest, some of the um, CFM stuff as well. So uh, be sure to come by the stream, and we'll see you at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.